This video is sponsored by Squarespace. More on them in a bit. One of the first areas I always pay attention to when I want to freshen up my space is pillows or more I guess broadly textiles because textiles are really easy for the most part to swap in and out. I have talked about this before in the case of pillows that I feel like buying pillowcase covers is such a great way to go rather than buying whole pillow sets every time you want to switch out your pillows because pillow covers are really easy to store and also really simple to swap out for different seasons. So I had put these ones on these green ones for the holidays and they actually transitioned really well into the winter but I feel like this color is definitely giving fall winter and I need to just brighten up this living room a bit and I feel like if I switch out these colors particularly it could have really big impact because this one is more of a cream pillow I have another kind of cream and black I guess pillow and also my sphere pillow these are really neutral and I think can adapt really well to a change in accent color and I'm buried in pillows <laughs> blankets are another Another one. Depending on the accent color, I'll either go for this more, I've got this more creamy beige one and this beautiful vibrant, kind of like a gold yellow vibe. Let's get some switching happening. I store my spare pillow covers in this unit right here. I've got selections to the left and selections to the right. So let's dig and see. Pink is an option. I like this color. I haven't done this one in a bit. This one I really haven't done in a long time, but I don't feel like today is the day for this. I forgot about you. Did these match? Not really. I think I want to bring this one back. But if I were to do that, could I pair it with yellow? Can I do? No. No. I think the yellow. These two or these two? I feel like this is more spring summer. See, to me, this just feels like a brighter approach heading into July, August territory. As much as I love doing that switch up in the living room with the pillows, there's also textiles to play with in the kitchen, namely my fun dish towel that I have here. Oh wait, I always have a dish towel here so that I can wipe my hands after I use the sink. But I've got two dish towel styles that I've had since I've been in this apartment. First, I've got the green option, which is fine. It's a dish towel. And then I also have this white and gray one, one of which you just saw. And and this one has stained so so easily so by no means am i getting rid of them but i have been looking out for some new options at home sense for things that would or a dish towel that would capture my eye and i found some the first one is a really basic set this is kind of like the elevated version of these and it's these ones right here on camera it's coming off a little bit lighter than it is in real life in real life it's a darker not darker like a, a seafoam green it has these white horizontal stripes i like the little fluffs at the bottom just an elevated look still in the green family so it bounces off nicely with the green appliances and accents i have in this kitchen but a little bit more muted and they're also made in portugal so great find there but the fun set the set that i think is really precious is this one right here it's a ton of little mushrooms and flowers it looks very whimsical and it comes with two of these prints and then more of like a beige option but i think this one is so cute and just has a little personality to the kitchen because right now i feel like the kitchen is lacking a little personality some new textiles to play around with both sets were 12.99 too so not a super super pricey thing to upgrade in your kitchen that I look at when I'm cooking has just not been clicking with me lately. And I think the big mistake was this one particular photo at the top right corner of the gallery wall where I was getting sick of the old print that was there. Instead of buying a new print or seeing if any of the prints I have in storage would work, I stuck 
an Aritzia bag photo in it and I hate it. I don't mind the photo itself. I think that's why I was like, ooh, like something artsy, but it does not go with the whole theme of this gallery wall. It just looks very out of place. And don't get me wrong, I think if I had to do this gallery wall as a whole again, I would re think how I approach this wall in general but it is what it is and I'm not like in the space where I want to completely redo the whole thing but I think I can make some small tweaks to the prints to help bring it a little bit back together so that it doesn't bother me every time I look at it because who wants to be bothered when they're cooking this is what I look at when I'm cooking in the kitchen it's this and my tv or my living room area so I want to feel good when I look at it it's also the first impression you get of the apartment when you walk in from the front door so I think it's just a piece that I want to have some harmony an area that I want to have some more harmony don't get me wrong our prints can definitely get pricey depending on where you're shopping but there are also a lot of affordable options and also I feel like if it's one of those things that you tell yourself you're just gonna look out for rather than go on a mission to buy one you'll find more success because if you just let something naturally pique your interest then you're not gonna feel pressured into making a decision that you might not actually really enjoy in the long term tons of great custom options on Etsy too to explore if you want something a little bit unique. I actually found a couple at Indigo that I think for the situation of this gallery wall right now, we'll, we'll do the tweaks that I need it to. So let's do that. Like I said, I need to get rid of this one because it just doesn't fit with the rest of what's happening here. I think my two favorite images on this wall are these two. These two really work for me. Like Greg the Llama as well, I do feel like he could move to a different area of the apartment, but it adds some whimsy to this wall. Otherwise it's kind of boring. I do feel like this girl though might need to go in addition to this one we shall see though i'm gonna start with that one it's definitely like a funky image i just don't think it matches the style of this apartment at all i'm going for something like this because it has blues that are in the other abstract on this wall I think I definitely want in the future, whenever I do a gallery wall again in another place, to kind of take my own advice and go slowly with it to ensure the art prints I'm bringing in I really like. But more importantly, to bring in art that I think has meaning or that I think it visually is really interesting, has something to say. See, just those two print shifts gives me something new to look at and gives this wall, I think, a little bit of a different feeling than it was before. That one up top, I think, was really also just making the whole thing feel super Super dark so I like that lightness that happened up here and we still got Greg Greg the llama to keep things interesting mm -hmm. As a creator, one of my favorite forms of self-care is getting lost in the act of bringing content to life through videos, social media posts, and even writing. That's why I love the fact that I can have a special corner on the internet to highlight all of the work I do on CaitlinDeSilva.com. With Squarespace, launching, designing, and updating my blog has been easier than ever. Not only does Squarespace offer a variety of ready-to-use templates, but all of their templates are simple to customize, which I appreciate because I am far from being a graphic designer. So I love that I'm able to design my site the way I want it to look in seconds by adding sections to promote new videos, collect newsletter signups, and even display my latest Instagram content. Plus, the site preview feature is a lifesaver. You can check out how your site looks on both web and mobile so you can be confident that it looks fabulous no matter where it's being viewed. So whether you want to start writing about your life story, share your portfolio, or sell your own products, you can take comfort in knowing that launching a website doesn't have to be intimidating. Be sure to check out squarespace.com today for a free trial and use the URL linked below squarespace.com slash Caitlin's Corner to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This office area, aside from needing just a little bit of tidying up, also I feel like just needs a little rejudge in terms of the decor. And I'm not going to do anything crazy, but I think what you are going to see is how subtle shifts can make a difference in your space. So one of the first things I want to do is back on that note about textiles is put this in the wash because it needs it. Sometimes eat over here. So unfortunately my placemat, in addition to being a desk mat, does become more placemat-y than I would like. But I also just want to brighten up this desk. I've got this one that I'm going to replace it with. It's like a gray and a cream with something a little bit more bright. This is 
is my happy light that I use in the winter for when it's really gloomy and I need some assistance to not feel down about it. During the summer, although these past few days haven't been the best example of that, we don't have as many gloomy days, so I don't think I need to have this out on my desk all the time. It'll come back though in the fall. green theme going in my office but I feel like I want to switch up the color because it's been like this for a bit. For the most part this is a compilation of green markers and pens and I want to change the color to brighten it up again for spring summer. And playing with color and combining colors like this I feel like it's such an easy way to make something look a little bit more intentional than just like randomly put together. Also a way to bring cohesiveness to space but this is like something subtle that we can switch out here. It doesn't cost anything because I'm I have tons of stationery. So I'm just gonna pick a color or two that I want to focus on for the next little bit And I think it'll help transform the environment a little bit and also give me an opportunity to display some of the stationery I don't get to see every day. Let's go. And there you go A little subtle shift into a more yellow category. I added some little pops of different color but I feel like this is such a happy little collection a little happy bouquet of stationery I think adding just those pops of yellow and some purpley pinky vibes just gives it a little bit of brightness. Just need a little zhuzh. This right here is a post-it note and this is a little mini notebook and a little tiny highlighter. Orange slice erasers, stationary glasses holder, just a lot of stuff that I already had around. So no extra money was spent here, but it has a little bit of a different look. And I'll bring the same approach to this bottom part of the desk as well. I've had this green file sorter on my desk over here for quite a bit now and I love this color and I love how it coordinates so well with my desktop but I think some variety would be nice so I'm gonna swap it out with the pink one that I have this I usually have by my windowsill but I'll just move this one to my windowsill and this will be on my desk sometimes just moving things that usually are in certain places to new places can also give them a fresh light and there you go I think this space looks not completely different but definitely a different tone of color and that makes it feel so fresh I'm not touching anything up here but this would have been a simple way to also refresh in the space. Oh my goodness, sometimes the Echo Show puts on some strange photo art. Some of it's good and some of it's a little wonky. But anyways, I think this looks so much fresher for the season and I feel like I'm a little bit more motivated to do some work here. changing the textiles in this living room I think definitely brightened up the space. I also want to take a look at my sideboard and my front entrance because these are two areas I look at a lot my front entrance. I'm often looking at the mirror before I head out the door to make sure everything's in place and then with my sideboard by my TV here it's obviously always in view whenever I'm watching TV. I look at these places a lot and I can get accustomed to these spaces quite easily and it's been a while since I've done some re-judging with the decor. So I want to do that today and I feel like Although it sounds simple, just the act of putting things in new spots around your apartment can be huge. And I try and make a point if, if I'm going to move something somewhere to move it to a different room. Because that allows you to see a piece from a new perspective and appreciate it in a new environment, new context. And it can just help with you staying in love with your space. Which I feel like is such a beautiful flow to be in. Like I have a lot of gratitude for my home and I feel so lucky to call this place home. So I want to have pride in it. Unfortunately, as humans, we just can become accustomed to things. So this is a way of just kind of like shocking the system a little bit, but with minimal cost because we're not necessarily buying new things. Although, you know what, sometimes buying a little thing here and there can have big power too. But I've definitely been personally on a mission the past few years to not buy home decor unless it is making me salivate. It's something about it I just love or it has some sort of meaning because I want to be able to look around in my home and just see like stories everywhere when I'm looking at stuff. That all is to say I'm gonna go look around my apartment and see what pieces I can rearrange or move to different rooms and hopefully you'll agree with me that although again a subtle change it definitely 
is a change. These battery operated candles, I'm definitely going to move out of the living room because now that the sun is setting so late, I feel like they don't really have as much effect during the evening, but they would be really good at night. So I think going into the bedroom is the move for these. I adore this vase, but I think I want to bring it to the front entrance because it's been here for a bit. Complicated relationship with this vase. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I feel really neutral about it, but I want to, I want to love it. So I think it just needs a new home. Candle again goes to the bedroom. I'm just making piles here for different rooms and these two I don't want on this table anymore I'm thinking front entrance the only thing I think I'm moving here is this guy he could be a bedroom contender or a living room Wilma here is really invading in on the sideboard but that's okay I call these pieces my quidditch rings my marble quidditch rings these are one of those pieces where I understand how people can have different tastes because I know these are very strange something about them makes me happy I think it's because of the swirliness of them I think of donuts when I look at them I think about the fact that I want to get a ping pong ball and just try and shoot it through the holes endlessly until I succeed. There's a lot of thoughts that happen here. Okay, and then next to that, I have this stack, the top of which contains a container that has my remote. I don't want to get rid of the Blast from the Past photo album, but I think the Collective Wisdom black on the spine is kind of making this darken. This book though is so great. It's filled with stories from older women. Books can make just such a great decor piece, especially when you're sorting by color, but I think I'm going to add a burst of pink here. I really love this book. Let me just see what... I think this might be too high, so let's get this down. Yeah, that's fun. On the left side, I'm going to keep the plant, my snake plant pebbles here, but add those rainbow ceramics just to kind of hide my little security box over there. Actually, now that I'm looking at it from afar, I don't feel like that's adding enough height to the left area. So I'm going to swap it instead with this photo of my grandparents. Put this here. So could I add that? What if I separate these? Okay, that might be doing something. My pink vase has to go here. Oh, it's really starting to get dark outside. Oh yeah, weather advisory. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> I know these two things aren't particularly eye-catching, but I can't get rid of them. They're kind of practical. I ended up moving the candles up here in the bedroom on the bookshelf. And there's also two on my bedside table. This coffee table needs a little brightness too, so I just pulled some pink reddish tone books from my TBR. My Kindle goes on top. Okay, this works. I think this is the move. Everything's just a bit brighter in here. I like it. I just am always amazed by how just subtle little changes can make big impact, not just in our spaces, but in our life as well. It sometimes feels like we need to do these big extreme things to feel re-energized. I often feel like there's just across the board so much beauty in the little things. Hopefully today's video was just like a small example of that in my home. I do want to challenge you though, if you haven't already in the next week or so to look around your apartment for opportunities to move things to new places because I think you'll be surprised by the impact that that can have on your feelings of your space. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. There's a link down in the description box below that you're going to want to go click so you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. This office alone is just like really energizing me today so very happy I took the time to do this little project. Hopefully you guys enjoy following along. If you did be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon with a new one. Toodles! I am the master of this office. I have the power.